hyperacidity, an indeed prime problem. Symptoms of hyperacidity Hyperacidity is the problem which when diagnosed in early stages can be treated effectively and the risk of transforming it to the next stage can be prevented. So it is good to know about the symptoms so that when you or family friends have this symptom they can be treated easily. The main symptom is the indigestion problem. The indigestion problem will be there continuously for a longer duration and this is mainly due to accumulation of lots of acids in the stomach and this will not allow secretion of other digestive juices and this will result in indigestion. The other important symptom of hyperacidity is the constipation problem. When a person gets indigestion problem as well as constipation then he has to be immediately checked for this disease. The vomiting sensation will be present in the persons with a hyperacidity problem. Due to excess acid which is present in the stomach, there will be resistant from the stomach to accept new food which will ultimately result in vomiting sensation. The stomach becomes hard due to the acid secretion which you feel externally. Due to the stomach being hard there will not be much interest for the person affected by hyperacidity to eat. This will make the person unhealthy. The other important symptom is the feeling of restlessness. This feeling develops strongly since the person with it will not eat much and this will make him feel like that. The other important symptom is the lack of interest to eat since the patient may feel full due to the presence of excess acid. Hyperacidity and Stomach Cancers Hyperacidity is the problem of over-secretion of the acid that is helpful in digesting the foods. Due to the high amount of acid secretion it causes the inner layer of the stomach i.e. mucosa to undergo changes. The mucosa membrane is a very soft layer which when attacked by the acids will not bear and causes cell damage. The problem starts with improper diet habits. When the diet is not taken properly the acid secreted in the stomach will not be used at all and this makes the acid to get in contact with the mucosa layer and causes damage. It is a problem which can be treated easily in the preliminary stage. When the problem is left untreated it may lead to an ulcer. The ulcer when develops malignantly may lead to stomach cancer. But the chance of a person getting affected by stomach cancer only due to hyperacidity is a very rare one. Stomach cancer is a problem when the cells of the inner layer of the stomach and other parts of the stomach to grow without any control. The cancer is uncontrolled growth of the cells and this growth of cell is not a fast process but a very slow one and thus this makes it unnoticeable. The stomach cancers can be due to various reasons such as consuming spicy food, oily foods and many other reasons. The other important reason may be it but one cannot always say a hyperacidity patient is prone to stomach cancer. If it is treated properly then there is no risk of stomach cancer. Hyperacidity and Acid Reflux Disease Hyperacidity and the acid reflux disease is a disorder caused mostly due to excessive secretion of hydrochloric acid in the stomach. Hydrochloric acid helps in the digestion of the food. Acid reflux disease is the weakening of the valve that connects the mouth to the stomach. Actually this valve opens to allow the food and then closes automatically. But when this valve weakens it remains open even after allowing the food inside which makes the stomach acid to flow back into the esophagus which causes many serious consequences like heartburn. Some other symptoms of the acid reflux disease are a pain while swallowing, chest pain and the contents of the stomach come back into the mouth. It may be caused due to continuous intake of anti-inflammatory medicines like aspirin, consumption of alcohol, intake of spicy foods and flavored foods like pickles, lack of proper exercise program, having a heavy meal and immediately going to bed, smoking and stress also contribute to it. 
Symptoms of hyperacidity are a pain in the stomach immediately after the intake of spicy food, vomiting and sometimes even blood vomiting and heartburn. It can be successfully controlled by avoiding smoking and alcohol consumption, avoiding coffee, following a proper diet and a regular exercise program and leading a stress-free life. Powdered amla acts as a medicine for the acid reflux disease. This may be a serious problem if it has occurred in persons above 50 years of age. It is not a communicable disease. It can be controlled either by the consumption of conventional medicines like antacids or by the Ayurvedic treatments or by the homeopathic treatment. Transmission of Hyperacidity Hyperacidity is a disease that occurs in the stomach due to over-secretion of the acid. The acid is secreted in correct amount but when the diet is taken by a person is not sufficient enough to use the acid secreted it is left wasted. This acid will destroy the inner layer of the skin. And when left untreated it may turn into an ulcer and cause further damage in the inner layer of the stomach. The ulcer may damage the submucous layer in the stomach which is the second layer of the stomach. The hyperacidity is never a transmissible disease and it is a disease which occurs due to improper digestion and not taking enough nutritional foods. It occurring in person would not get transmitted to another person by means of air, water or physical contact with the patient. The hyperacidity cannot be transmitted from a person to person by any means. The patient can be dealt like a normal person and they should never be seen abnormal. Since it is only a disease which is due to improper diet habits. Also, it is just another disease which will not affect the person living with an affected person. Many people believe it is a transmissible disease, but it is not so. The medical analysis of the hyperacidity patients has proved that the disease would get transmitted from person to person in any case. So it is advised to mingle with the patients as usual and one must not show any discrimination to the people having this disease. Hyperacidity and Stomach Ulcers Hyperacidity is a disorder caused due to dietary irregularities. Hydrochloric acid is produced in the stomach that aids in the digestion of the food that we consume. But when the production of the acid exceeds the requirement it results in the stomach disorder. The excessive acid present in the stomach favors the living of bacteria. The stomach ulcer may get aggravated by the intake of medicines like aspirin. Foods like juices, fish and egg that stimulate the production of acid should be avoided. Smoking and drinking should be strictly avoided. Intake of coffee, chocolates should be reduced. The most common and effective treatment involves the intake of antacids in two or three combinations. The treatment process consists of cleaning the infection. The problem may occur again and this time it is removed by using some other antibiotics. Complications of Hyperacidity Any disease which is left untreated may cause severe consequences. Likewise, when the hyperacidity is left untreated it leads to severe problems. When it is left untreated, the first and foremost problem occurring in the patient is the damaging of the mucous membrane which is the inner layer of the stomach and also a very soft layer. The stomach cancer will occur when the hyperacidity is left untreated for a very long duration. As we know stomach cancer means slow development of cells in the stomach and this will be due to the hyperacidity. So it is better to treat it in the initial stage to avoid any complications in the later part of life. Prevent Hyperacidity Hyperacidity is mainly due to the improper diet and stress that develops in a person. When the acid secreted in the stomach is not utilized fully for the digestive purpose it stays in the stomach and this would damage the mucosa layer of the stomach. Stress is the other important criteria that must be kept in control to prevent hyperacidity. 
Many may think about how the stress is coordinated with it. When a person develops stress the hormone responsible for the secretion of the acid starts working fast and this will result in a high amount of acid secretion. Thus when high acid is secreted it leads to many problems. So it is better to keep your head cool to avoid over secretion. Ayurvedic Treatment for Hyperacidity Ayurvedic treatment has been proved very successful in the case of hyperacidity. The Ayurvedic treatment consists only of treating the person with the naturally obtained leaves, stems of the plants that are high medical values. Also, the fruits of some of the trees and plants can also be used for treating this disease. Glycerizic Labra is another important Ayurvedic medicine used for treating the hyperacidity. Not the leaves or fruit of this plant is used for treating but the roots of this plant are used. The roots of this plant are usually called as licorice and this root helps in treating the inner lining of the stomach. Thus when the acid is secreted in excess this root will help in protecting the inner layer of the stomach. This also helps in fast treating of the inner layer of stomach i.e. the mucosa. Subscribe our channel for future videos, visit our website holisticmeaning.com for more informative articles.